Hello and welcome to a new video, one that I air out my unending disappointment about the state of the video game industry, and today I'd like to talk about the recently announced Alien Blackout, or Alien Isolation 2 Blackout, depending on what you want to call it. This is supposed to be a sequel to the game Alien Isolation that came out a few years ago. Now, as odd as it may seem, there's never been a truly great Alien game for most of the time the franchise has existed. There's been alright Alien games, but there's never that's really stood out as this is a magnificent product and really defines the genre it's in. It certainly was quite terrible when Aliens Colonial Marines came around, which was just an awful game in every sense of the word. But one of the things that was most peculiar about all these different Alien games is none of them really tried to be a horror game. They were all based mostly on shooting and combat and action-adventure types of stuff. There was never a game where you're the victim of the alien, where you can be hunted down and killed easily by this uh, you know, monster from another world that you can't even comprehend. They were always just something to shoot at. That changed when Alien Isolation came out. It was a hide-and-seek horror game similar in nature to Amnesia The Dark Descent or Outlast. You play as Ellen Ripley's daughter Amanda Ripley as she tries to navigate her way out of this space station that has become infested with xenomorphs. For most of the game, you're under the assumption that there's only one xenomorph, and that's all there really needs to be for it to be an immeasurable threat. You can't kill it, you have a revolver, you get other weapons as well, but they do nothing to this lumbering terror from beyond the moon. The best weapon at your disposal is a flamethrower that can deter it for a little while, but it's never truly gone. The Xenomorph has been oversaturated in media for a long while. In comic books, in uh, web cartoons, in toys and action figures and stuffed animals, and yes, in video games. So it really was an impressive feat that this video game made the Xenomorph scary again to a lot of people. For the first time in a long time, people were actually afraid of it. It was no longer this novelty everyone knew about. And the game did more than just accurately capture what it would be like to be in the same enclosed area as a Xenomorph, but also captured the look and the feel of the first Alien better than the recent Alien movies. There's no hologram bullshit and sleek looking spaceships. There's no crappy attempts at philosoph philosophical discussions about AI. There's no fucking engineers. It is as close to Alien as we've been since Alien and Aliens. Naturally, the game was very, very well received. Some people think of it as one of the best horror video games ever made. Despite the fact that it is, in essence, a hide-and-seek horror game, it has stood out among the crowd by the sheer quality and potential to scare you alone. And so, for a while, people have been waiting for a sequel. They want to know what is Amanda Ripley going to do next? Or is it going to be her or another character? Where would you explore? Would it be a city on another planet? Would it be in one of the engineer areas or an alien hive? 
how would they up the ante how would they make a sequel to this incredible game what no one thought and no one asked for and no one wants is for the sequel to that game to be on a platform that is significantly more limited than PCs and consoles can't provide half of the features or entertainment values or complexity in a video game that something on the PC or consoles can one that is no doubt going to be laced with a bunch of shitty microtransactions there's not a single fucking person on the entire planet who finished Alien Isolation said gee I sure hope the sequel is on a fucking phone and guess where the sequel is on a phone it's a mobile game go to the Apple Store go to the Google Play Store, the Amazon App Store, or to the Go Fuck Yourself Store. I mean, what? You don't have phones? Well, you know, here's a sequel to this game that was on consoles and PCs on a phone. Why? Who asked for this? Who thought, hey, you know this really well received game? What if we move it to this platform these people didn't play the first game on? That's sure to draw in the crowds I mean if they were worried about not making money they're sorely mistaken because the sequel to such a well received game would make fucking money I've said that Alien Isolation is very similar in nature to Amnesia The Dark Descent well Alien Blackout is very similar to another game are you ready for an official Five Nights at Freddy's clone not some silly fan game you can buy on the App Store, but one licensed by Fox itself. You Are you up for Five Nights at Wayland Utani's? Because that's what the game seems to play like, according to the reveal trailer. Uh, what? You, you aren't interested in a Five Nights at Freddy's clone, but featuring the alien? Well, I guess you're out of luck then, aren't you? Because this is... The alien game we're getting, this is what they sat down and thought, you know, what should we follow up Alien Isolation with? This is a game that was conceived because not one fucking person in the entire process had the balls or brain to say, this is a bad idea. This, this idea you have, this is a bad idea. We call this a bad idea. We should go back and you know start out with a good idea and work our way from there but you know so far this, this seems like a really bad idea not one person apparently said that because this game is getting made it's being released January 24th but don't worry you can pre-order it you can pre-order a fucking mobile game this may be aside from Alien Blackout itself but who the fuck pre-orders mobile games what person on this blue, pale blue dot orbiting this tiny low star in the edge of the Milky Way pre-orders a fucking mobile game? If you know someone who does that, please start an intervention. Sit them down in front of their friends and families and say, you have a problem, we need to talk. Because that shit just ain't right. And you wanna know another thing? You just just another grand bit of news on top of the spectacular day alien fans are having. I'm on the Google Play Store right now looking at the rating. Alien Isolation was rated M. Because of course it's rated M. It should be rated M, and M rating is the video game equivalent to an R rating. And all the Alien movies, save for the first Alien vs. Predator, have been rated R. Well, don't worry if you're concerned that your kid might be exposed to too much dirty violence and sexual imagery. Alien Blackout is rated T. And on the Apple Store, it's rated as 12+. Plus. Fucking 
amazing, the absolute state of the Alien franchise. The absolute fucking state. Apple Store preview information, age rating, rated 12 plus for the following. Infrequent, mild profanity or crude humor. Infrequent, mild, realistic violence. Infrequent, mild, mature, suggestive themes. And frequent, intense horror, fear themes. That's, that's fucking amazing. That's, that's fucking amazing. Like, this is a creature literally designed by a guy who incorporates dicks into all of his drawings. The creature's head is quite literally a giant black penis with teeth. Its life cycle involves a person getting face raped by this spider crab thing, and then a small version of the adult bursting out of its chest in a bloody mess. But we'll just leave it at 12 plus for its fucking rating. Like, you couldn't even push the envelope a little bit, you couldn't even go for that Elm rating. The Alien Anthology tr Twitter, like two hours after posting about Alien Blackout, has also posted, quote, Dear Alien fans, there's still more to come very soon, and then a few hashtags, Amanda Ripley and Replay Watch. Probably they're scrambling to figure something out because this was not received very well at all. And you'd think they would've been paying attention and realize it wouldn't be well received. We're not that far away from the announcement of Diablo Mortal, where the Do you guys not have phones? And is this an out of season April Fool's jokes meme started? Turning Command and Conquer into a mobile game wasn't well received. What is it with these companies? Taking franchises that did perfectly freaking well on PCs and consoles and putting them on phones, watering them down, making them this absolute slock. I will give Bethesda shit to the very end, but I'll admit that Fallout Shelter was handled pretty well because it was announced in conjunction with an actual Fallout game, Fallout 4. So it wasn't like any Fallout fans had to worry about whether or not they'd have to wait so much longer to see a proper game in the franchise. But good grief. None of us here are having any fun. None of us here are looking to the future with any hope. It is not a fun day to be an alien fan, that's for sure. Like, the fact that Scorn is going to end up being a more anticipated Alien game, despite having nothing to do with Alien, it's just gonna entice that crowd more because it's gonna use, like, a sort of Gigerian aesthetics in it, in part of it. But you really shouldn't have to rely on completely unrelated developers and completely unrelated games to give you an alien fix. Like, it should be a no-brainer, Alien Isolation 2. We keep what worked well, we change what didn't, or maybe update some of the mechanics. I kind of found that the crafting stuff made it, you know, sort of dated. Like, all these other games have crafting mechanics in it, so we have to have one in ours, too. That'd be something I'd remove in favor of something else. But, there's a lot more you could have explored with it. There's some new mechanics you could have added. You can, you know, branch out and have a completely different location. There's just a lot you could have done, and you've decided to do none of them because you've put it on such a limited platform. Phones simply are not replacements to PCs and consoles. I have a PC right here, I built it myself. Why would I play a mobile game when I can play games on here? I'm not out of the house that much. 
Mobile games are for stuff like Candy Crush, for Fruit Ninja, Angry Birds, Plants vs. Zombies. It's not for sequels to games and franchises that were already on proper gaming platforms. Man, screw everything, yo. Know? It really isn't fun being an alien fan. The new movies suck ass. New games gonna be on mobile. It's being bought off by Disney. It's a fucking coin flip as to if they can handle a previously popular franchise or not. They did really well with Marvel. They fucking blew it with Star Wars. Which is it gonna be for them? Man, fuck everything. That's the end of this video. I hope gave you something to think about and otherwise entertained you. Take care.